Inside a snowflake, like the one on your sleeve, there happened a server you must join to believe. Up near the mountains, between the two seas, lays the small town of Spawnville, the home of the V's. Ask any V member and they'll have this to say. There's no place like Spawnville around Christmas Day. Every window is locked, every torch burning bright, in the hope that a creeper won't get within sight. For the town is awash with a Christmassy glow, except for the dragon, whose name they all know. Every V down in Spawnville liked Christmas a lot, but Digi Grinch, who lived just north of Spawnville, did not. Digi Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be his skin wasn't fitting just right. It could be, perhaps, that his scales were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his subscriber list was two sizes too small. Whatever the reason, his skin or followees, he stood there on Christmas Eve, hating the V's, staring down from his base with a sour, digi Grinch frown at the warm lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every V down in Spawnville beneath was busy now hanging a Christmassy wreath. And they're hanging their banners, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas, it's practically here. Then he growled with his digi Grinch fingers nervously drumming. I must find a way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow he knew all the V girls and chaps would wake bright and early, they'd rush for their fraps. And then, oh the noise, oh the noise, 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 that's the one thing he hated. The noise, 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 noise. Then the V's young and old would sit down to record, they'd shoot scene after scene after scene, 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 scene. They would record intro scenes and fade out when it ceased, which was something Digi Grinch couldn't stand in the least. And then they'd do something he liked least of all. Every V down in Spawnville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with diamond swords gleaming. They'd stand hand in hand, and the V's would start streaming. They'd stream, and they'd stream, and they'd stream, 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 stream. And the more did you Grinch thought of this V for V thing, the more did you Grinch thought. I must stop this Christmas Twitch thing. Why, for all these years, I've put up with it now. I must stop this Christmas stream coming, but how? Then he got an idea, an awful idea. Digi Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. Digi Grinch laughed in his throat, and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat, and he chuckled and clucked. What a great Digi Grinch trick. With this coat and this hat, I look just like Saint Nick. All I need is a reindeer. Digi Grinch looked around, but since reindeer are not in vanilla, there was none to be found. Did that stop the Digi Grinch? No. Oh, Digi Grinch simply said, If I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his friend Dozer, then he took some red thread and he tied a big horn on the top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and an old garbage disposer on a ramshackle sleigh and he hitched up old Dozer. Then Digi Grinch said, Giddy up! And the sleigh started down toward the homes where the V's lay a snooze in their town. All their windows were dark, quiet snow filled the air. All the V's were all dreaming sweet dreams without care. When he came to the first little house on the square, this stop number one. The old Digi Grinch hissed, and he climbed to the roof TNT in his fist. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, then so could Digi Grinch. He got stuck only once, for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue, where the little V banners all hung in a row. These banners, he grinned, are the first things to go. Then he slithered and slunk with a toothy black grin around the whole room, and he took everything. 
diamonds and iron bars, axes and coal, wooden spades, woolen blocks, wheat sheaves and gold. And he stuffed them in bags, then Digi Grinch very nimbly stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimney. Then he slunk to the double chest. He took the V's feast. He took the V pudding. He took the V beast. He cleaned out that chest as fast as he must. Why that Digi Grinch even took their last redstone dust. Then he stuffed all the dust up the chimney with glee. And now, Digi Grinch grinned, I will blow up that tree. And Digi Grinch went outside and he started to dig when he heard a small sound like the oink of a pig. He turned around fast and he saw a small V. Little tricky P. Well, who else could it be? Digi Grinch had been caught by this tiny V member who'd got out of bed at the sound of his temper. He stared at Digi Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Are you destroying our Christmas tree? Why? But you know that Digi Grinch was so smart and so slick. He thought up a lie and he thought it up quick. Why my sweet tricky pea? The fake Santa Claus lied. There's a light on this tree that won't light on one side. So I'm taking it home to my base, my dear. I'll fix it up there and I'll bring it back here. And his fib fooled the V that he patted his head and chopped him in half, sending him back to his bed. And when the V member spawned back in their bed, Digi the Grinch went on digging and gave a nod of his head. Then the last thing he did set the fuse on fire. Then he climbed on the sleigh, that canny old liar. On their walls he left nothing but books and some wire. And the one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Then he did the same thing to the other V's houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other V's mouses. It was quarter past dawn, all the V's still abed, all the V's still a snooze when he packed up his sled. Packed it up with their items, their chests, their wrappings, the signs and their dirt blocks, their apples and saplings. So off to the nether, beside lava and flame, he rode with the load to burn it just the same. Poo poo to the V's. He was grinchously humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas stream is coming. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open for a minute or two. Then the V's down at Spawnville will all cry boo hoo. That's a noise, grinned Digi Grinch, that I simply must hear. So he paused, and Digi Grinch put his hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad, or the sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so, but it was merry, very. So he stared down at Spawnville. Digi Grinch popped his eyes, then he shook. What he saw was a shocking surprise. Every V down in Spawnville, the tall and the small, was streaming without any items at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And Digi Grinch, with his Digi Grinch feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without diamonds? It came without coal? It came without furnaces, axes, or gold? And he puzzled three hours, till his puzzler was sore. Then Digi Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a steam store. Maybe Twitch streaming, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Spawnville, they say that Digi Grinch's subscriber base grew three sizes that day. And the minute his skin didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light. And he brought back the items and the food for the feast. And he, he himself, Digi Grinch, carved the V Beast. But Digi Grinch had forgotten the fuse that was lit, and the whole town exploded, leaving one massive pit. Happy Christmas, everyone.